was a cold night here in Durham as the men's soccer team took on the Stony Brook Sea Wolves that ended in a one nothing win for the Wildcats. I was able to catch up with head coach Mark Hubbard and forward Jacob Gould, who scored the game-winning goal in the 44th minute of play. Scoring two seconds before for halftime um, obviously takes a little bit of pressure off when you when you go in uh, to the locker room, but um, yeah, we felt like we left a lot out there tonight in terms of uh, chances in the final third and. Um, you know, when you do that in soccer, you let the let the team have a little bit. The other team have more belief, and we gave them a few uh, set pieces, a few breaks that um, you know that 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 just can't happen, um, or or we'll get punished later in the season. So, uh, yeah, it's good to it's good to win, and it's good to win and and uh, understand that you can be better, and and we gotta we gotta learn from it and continue to try and improve and and work towards playing our best stuff in November. So I came on uh, about halfway through this first half and uh, we've been putting a lot of pressure on them early. Had the ball on their end a lot. Got a lot of services and long throws and you know eventually you gotta hope it's gonna pay off and I just happened to find myself in the right spot. Like a couple of plays before I shot one on target pretty similar and it got blocked and happened to be in the right spot again ball somehow got through and I got a foot on it so it's happy to be there. I mean it's important we talk about keeping a blue head which is you know staying calm in the pressure and not reacting to what the other team is doing to us and I mean it's hard obviously you want to you want to get chippy right back with them uh, it's just the nature of the game but you know we do our best to calm each other down and if someone's getting out of hand you know pull them aside talk to them because at the end of the day it's silly to get cards for stupid things and uh, yeah, we knew it was going to be a physical game going into it, so we were there for the challenge and tried to stay calm throughout it. We've had a good mentality on the road. It's been a little bit, but um, uh, we have a full week to prepare for uh, UMBC. It's a, it's a big big trip for us. It's not an easy place to play. Um, you know, it's coming off the championship game last year. There's going to be uh, definitely some emotion there. and. Um, we got to be ready to match that and uh, and continue to prove on, on stuff that we uh, should have done better in this game. The Wildcats go on the road for three games over the next two weeks before returning home Saturday, October 26th for a matchup against Hartford at 7 p.m. For UNH Wildcat Productions, I'm Lauren Smith.